This is how to make a deep seek chatbot in NITN in just a couple of minutes. As you can see here, when I send this message, who is Steve Jobs to this phone number, that message will then be sent to DeepSeek, which will come up with a response and send that back to the same number that it got the message from. As you can see here, it now responded with a message of who Steve Jobs is. So now I'm going to show you how to make this chatbot step by step. So to show you step by step how you can build this AI SMS chatbot, we are just going to start off in a completely new uh, NITN workflow and just click on the plus sign to start off with a trigger. And as you can see, Twilio actually has their own uh, trigger, which is super nice. You can just search for Twilio and then click on, on a new SMS. And in here, what you need to do is you need to click on select new credential, create new credential. And as you can see, it asks for our account SID and also a token. So what we need to do is we need to head over to Twilio. You can just sign up for an account and add some credits. Twilio is the best uh, SMS automation platform you can use for automating SMS. And in here, you just need to come over to your account dashboard and then move over to the account info. And in here, you have the account SID, which you can paste in here. And we also have the auth token, which we can paste in underneath here. So you can just click on save once you've done that. And you can see the credential was successfully created. And now what we need to do is we need to actually click on this webhook URL here. We can just copy this uh, a test URL and go back over to Twilio. In here, we need to find our number. So I'll just find my number inside active numbers and also inside of the uh, number we want to use. And in here, you just need to be uh, on the configure tab and just scroll down all the way to the, as you can see, messaging configuration. And in here, we actually just need to set this URL to the URL we got from the test URL in the NIT and node. And everything else there needs to be set as it is here. We are using HTTP post. And once you've done that, you can, click, you can click on Save Configuration. And we can head back over to our NITN workflow. And now what we can do is we can actually click on Test Step. So now it is waiting for, a, for an SMS here. So what we'll actually do is send an SMS. I'll just say, hey. And as you can see, we received that SMS. The workflow was triggered. And we got the message in here, inside body. As you can see, hey. So what we can actually do now is we can use this message to create a response with AI. So you can just click on the plus sign. And by the way, the message I sent to trigger the workflow was, of course, the number I have here in my Twilio account. Just sent that number a message. And that was what, what triggered this workflow. So uh, for the AI, we can just use DeepSeek, the DeepSeek chat model. And in here, you need to, again, connect to your DeepSeek account. Just go to the DeepSeek API and you'll find your uh, API key in there. And once you've done that, we want to use the DeepSeek Reasoner. That is the R1 model. As you can see here, now it is set up correctly. We actually don't want that to be a one chat message received. We want to connect that Twilio trigger to this node right here. And in here, we actually need to set this to be defined below. And we want to set this, as you can see here, we want to use the message which was, hey, paste that in there. Nice, now I can test this step. And as you can see, now we got the text back from DeepSeek. Hey, how can I assist you today? Super nice. So what we need to do now is we need to add another node after this, which is going to be the last node in the workflow here, which is just going to be Twilio again. And this time it's not going to be a trigger. It's going to be a send an SMS, MMS, WhatsApp message. And we are going to send the message we got from DeepSeek. So you just, again, use your Twilio account. This is an SMS. You want to send it. And you want to send it from the number we used. So that was the number here, as you can see, which we sent to. And the number we are going to send to is the number that sent us this message, and that was this number. So, and the message is obviously going to be what we got from the DeepSeek uh, node. So once you've done that, you can just click on test step. And as you can see, we now got this output right here. And as you can see in my phone here, I have the message sent back, which was the message we got from the DeepSeek node. And if you want to make this you know, run automatically, you actually need to click on making this active. And then what you need to do, and you got it. And then what you need to do is you actually need to click on the webhook URLs, go to production URL, copy this, head back over to your Twilio account. And in the configuration here, you just need to use this URL or paste that URL in here and then click on save configuration again. And now it will run automatically whenever you send that number a message. And if you want this bot to actually be a bit more usable, you will obviously add some you know, uh, 
rag functional functionality in here or something like that, which you can uh, basically then talk to your documents or you know have some business information that you can use this so that you, you can use this chatbot as more of like a uh, assistant or whatever you would like. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, the link for that is in the description and I will see you in the next one.